and company. Thanks for coming uh, to be here with us. My name is Dave LaRock. I serve the 33rd House District, which is a, a good portion of Western Loudoun. And um, so we have a resolution prepared. But again, thanks for coming. Congratulations on the uh, continuation of a, of a spectacular tradition here in Loudoun. Mike Pearson has done a great job in drawing me and my family into a, a growing appreciation for the uh, what a fun tradition this is, steeped in history. Pointed out to me just a little while ago that uh, one of the proudest accomplishments of a man from Virginia was the breeding of the Virginia Foxhound. And uh, his name was uh, George Washington, I believe. Yeah, so just, just a small one indication of what a, what a tradition that is. So um, the uh, delegate uh, representing Albemarle is going to say a couple of words of congratulations as well as Delegate Caditis who represents a good portion of Clark County and then I'll go ahead and read the resolution if that sounds okay. You good with that? Okay, Thanks. thank you. So I actually, I'm Wendy Caditis representing House District 10 which runs from Leesburg, southern part of Loudoun, southern half of Clark all the way to Interstate 81 in Frederick. I live in Blue Ridge Hunt Country. I see and hear the hounds every morning. I drive Kennel Road every morning. Um, seeing hounds here, being with people who who know what a Penn Merrydale is, is very, it's rare in my life these days. Other things have taken precedence. But I see them and I see the scarlet coats and I, I remember how it feels on a frosty morning. Um, and to hear the the bell the bell cry when they're on on a scent, so it brings back happy memories. I commend Loudoun County for its 125 years. It's not easy with all the barbed wire or fences or developments or roads. It's not easy to keep a hunt going. Um, hunt people are natural conservationists. I'm with you there. I will support you there. So thank you so much for making the trip and bringing these beautiful quadrupeds. I wish to echo what the, my two good friends, delegates, have offered. And I want to congratulate the Loud Town Club for 125th year. I also want to commend the Farmington Hunt Club for their over 80 years of service and commitment in conservation and outdoor enthusiasm, but also in celebrating the traditions of Virginia that's made us who we are. And as we move forward, continuing to bring new folks into this sport and this tradition. And so my accolades to you all. I am blessed to be able to represent a portion of Western Albemarle, which includes the club and uh, just am so pleased to be here. Thank you all each for coming out. I'm Delegate John McGuire, I live in Gooseland County, and I want to congratulate uh, you guys for 125 years. That's amazing. Uh, my neighbors are Deep Run Hunt Club, and I see some of those folks here today, and just, uh, it, I've been invited to several of the hunts, and it's just always a great time, and we are, you have friends over here in the General Assembly with us. Thank you. Care to join me at the podium as we uh, turn over this resolution to you? <laughs> uh, we had to. Uh, <clears throat> with the cooperation of the uh, House, we were able to get this hurried through and printed for today, but I apologize that it's not framed. Uh, so but we can take care of that afterwards. But So I'm presenting this to you, and I'll go ahead and read the resolution here. Uh, House Resolution 60. Commending the Loudoun Hunt, agreed to by the House of Delegates February 11, 2020. Whereas the Loudoun Hunt, a hunting club that has welcomed generations of Loudoun County residents and visitors, celebrated its 125th anniversary in 2019. And whereas originally known as the Loudoun Hunt Club, the Loudoun Hunt has been a part of Virginia's social sporting tradition since 1894, making it one of the oldest hunting clubs in the Commonwealth, and whereas the Loudoun Hunt was recognized by the National Steeplechase and Hunt Association in 1905, 
and Masters Foxhounds Association in 1920, and it has maintained partnerships with other hunting clubs and kennels in the region, and whereas, with small fields that facilitate an active, engaging hunt experience, the Loudon Hunt is ideal for new hunters and the club's knowledgeable staff and officers are dedicated to ensuring the best possible experience for members. And whereas, the Loudon Hunt has had many notable members, including the Honorable Westmoreland Davis and the 48th Governor of Virginia, and has hosted many distinguished guests, including the First Lady Jacqueline Kennedy, who hunted and showed horses at the club in the 1960s. And whereas throughout history, the Loudon Hunt has been a source of enjoyment for members, friends, and landowners alike, offering social events, trail rides, charitable, charitable benefits, in addition to opportunities for hunting. Now, therefore, be it resolved by the House of Delegates that the Loudon Hunt hereby be commended on the occasion of the 125th anniversary, and be it further resolved that the Clerk of the House of Delegates prepare this copy, copy of this resolution for presentation to the Loudon Hunt as an expression of the House of Delegates' admiration for the club's history and contributions to the County of Loudon community. And I will add to that, although it's not officially written here, I will say to the Commonwealth of Virginia overall. And this, this is signed by patrons, uh, myself, Pelican Caditis, uh, Campbell, Card, Laney, Edmonds, Ferris, Fowler, Freitas, Dwyer, Reed, and Weber, who I know were all very enthusiastic about commending you, as well as probably many are, others are as well. So here it is, and, and thank you for your contributions to our community. Thank you. Thank you. So thank you all very much for coming. My name is David Reed. I'm the delegate from the 32nd District, which is the eastern part of Loudoun County. And I really want to thank you for coming here today because there's a lot of times here when we're in session where we take votes on a lot of things where a lot of times people don't agree with us. But because you've come today and you've brought the dogs with us, we're all very popular again today. So I really do very much appreciate that. The other thing that I wanted to do, and, and I really want you, and especially as we kind of stand here in, in the shadow of the house that was built and designed by Thomas Jefferson, I want you to give some thought to the fact that we're in the 401st year of the longest serving democracy in the Western Hemisphere. And so these commending resolutions will now be recorded in the journals that have been held before with the names of people like Madison and Monroe and Jefferson. And so now your accomplishments, your 125th year anniversary will now be recorded for his history and for posterity's sake in those same roles. So at some point in the future, maybe another 100 years from now, someone will be doing some research about what was going on in 2020, and they will come across your accomplishments, and we'll be able to look back and see what you did starting 125 years ago. So again, congratulations, and thank you very much for coming today. Thank you. So thank you for those words, uh, Delegate Reed. I think Ula really perked up when she uh, picked up on the historical significance of this. And I think that concludes our uh, formal speaking, and we all look forward to perhaps gathering for some photographs with the uh, members of the hunt and uh, the hounds that are with us here today. Thanks for coming today. Um, sorry, I was a little hasty, but uh, it never occurred to me to, to uh, bring the, our, our uh, members of the hunt up to, to, uh, to speak, so if you'll just bear with Bear with us for one more moment. Sorry about that. No Thanks to all for coming. Lawmakers, fox hunters, Mr. Pierce, where did he go? Right here. Thank you. <laughs> you too, uh, I, I was first invited to hunt on the mountain in the late 60s, and we had plenty of territory, not a whole lot of people, and uh, very few paved roads. Not that way now, but for what land we do have, we're very grateful. And if I may quickly thank our principal landowners, the Evans family of the Hume and Tranco, uh, the Coon family of the old Laycock Place, Dr. Gable of Valley View, Mr. Harris of Diggs Valley, 
and the extended Rogers family. Uh, where is Hannah? Ah, all right. <laughs> the Rogers family has uh, now farmed and plowed for 10 generations. And we're lucky to have Hannah Rogers here with us today. Thank you all.